Welcome back to another edition of... Richard! Where we bring you the finest, the best, of vintage electronic gear of days gone by. In fact, we've just dug up Harry Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> yes, joining us in the retro spotlight today is the one and only... When they made him, they definitely broke the mold. My father, Charles Fred Walker. I had a good morning, eh? <laughs> yes, yes, they know who you are now. The boss. The boss. Alrighty. Electronics whiz extraordinaire. And uh, he's here today to show us this very cool tube tester. Oh man, talk about vintage. Thanks for joining us again, Pops, for another retro tech. It's been what, a year at least? Good to have you back on the retro show. So tell us, a tube testers, man, oh man, talk about a bygone era. I remember when I was a wee lad and we were living in Montreal and you were taking me to some corner store testing tubes. What was that all about anyway? Uh, it was the start of a hobby. Mm -hmm. And uh, I couldn't afford a tube tester then. It wasn't until later on that I found this little handy one. It's just a basic, um, so a standard tube like this, what would this have cost back in like the 70s? Well, when they, when they were out there, they would be, they were coming out cheap, being made in, in, in China and uh, some parts of Europe. And like a tube like this, which used to be maybe at that time, uh, six or seven bucks was coming out for like two or three dollars. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it was actually considered cheap. Yeah. So here we have in front of us the Honor Model TE50 tube tester. I believe this was built by Lafayette Radio Electronics. At least that's my story. I'm sticking to so it's it. It's probably been a few years since you've actually uh, played with this tester. I'm assuming. Oh, well, it's been about 40 years now. Only 40 years. Well, there you go. It's almost like yesterday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, can you explain a bit of what we're looking at here? So, um, I see we have a leak indicator, AC. You know what is just yeah, well, so I know that there's AC power coming into the unit. Oh, okay, so that's like a power on. Yeah. All right. And this is filament bolts because they go from. Um, uh, that in those days the low voltage was like uh, six volts. I think that was the lowest voltage. Okay. And right up to uh, the higher of a higher loaded tubes would go up to over over thirty volts, maybe even higher. I forget how just how high they went. Wow. So this would have been the same sort of tester you'd be using as uh, as the ones you would walk into into a store back yeah, then. Yeah, that's, that's that's what they ever had in the stores. Now the fancier ones for for corporations that have really expensive tubes, and they want to know if it was a really bad fault or it was just a a small part of the element that's blown out, or maybe just to find out where the fault was, it was blowing out the tube. Uh, those are transconductance. This is not a transconductance. This is just a straight emission. Straight emission tester. Okay. Like the like your cheap transistor tester. Right. Right. Yeah. I see. Okay. So what would this have gone for, back in the day? This one. Yeah. I don't think I paid more than about forty bucks for it. Really? Yeah. Back in the seventies? Yeah. yeah. Forty bucks. Whoa, man. I, I thought it'd be more oh, than that. 40 but, bucks uh, back in the assembly was like, uh, what, two or three hundred dollars? Yeah, right? true, true yeah, enough. True You're going to show us how to actually test a tube. We have a, a bevy of tubes here. Where's that tube box of yours? i got to take a close-up of that. So that is a lot of test tubes there, Pops. Yeah, well, I really forget, to be honest about it, which ones are for which for a long time. But the more complicated ones, they've got uh, multiple elements. Uh, these are power tubes. They would go in the uh, rectifier section. 25 CU6. We can look up, look up the uh, pin setup for that. And uh... okay, so the tube you've got in your hand, where, where's that tube made exactly? China? Well, it says RC, but it doesn't mean. Oh, well, Marconi RCA, but it doesn't mean that it was made made in the states. I don't know where it was made. Hmm. All right. So you find tubes like this back in what television sets? Yeah. What other, sorry, uh, radios perhaps, I'm assuming as well? Uh, the older radios. The older radios, all right. In fact, before this, I had some really old tubes. And the tubes themselves were about that long. Wow. About almost 10 inches long. Jeez Louise. But uh, I guess uh, I had no place to hide those to, to keep them. Yeah, yeah. type of tubes they had before they ever got transistor radials and people were carrying the little small um, tube type radials they all had these 
very small tubes. They're low voltages, three volts. All right. Oh man. Wow. So that is a pretty small tube. Yeah. So three BC indicates its voltage, and I'm not sure if the five indicates the number of elements, or because I'm a long time out of date on it. Right. So, so look up in here. Three uh huh. Three B. C5? 3BC5. Yeah. Alright, so we found 3BC5. Yes. Okay, so what did you do with that 3BC5 now? So then, first thing you have to set up is the uh, is the voltage. Okay. The, the voltage, uh, the voltage that for, for the heaters. Okay. That, that heats up all the rest of the elements. Alright. So in, in here, in the book it says that uh, being the three, we know it's going to be three volts, and that's selection B. So selection A is, is less than three, which would be, uh, so this is set on B for three okay. volts. Okay, all right. And then you find the uh, socket that it goes in. The uh, heater, heater continuity is not broken. So you can do a continuity check on a tube with a multimeter? Yeah, you check on pins three and four. Okay. And if you didn't get anything, then it was either, it was probably burnt out mm -hmm. or broken. And sometimes they would be shorting to another element, you'd need to get a short. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you inserted the tube into that, the socket. into the socket. Yeah. And now, how are we gonna, it's gonna be, how do, how do we activate the, uh, the tester itself? Well, the power is on, and then depending on, on what it is, to make it draw enough current, uh, this is what the uh, load switch is. Load C5, load is 30. Alright. 30. This is for leakage, which would show up short or something. Okay. And this light would be glowing if there was a fault. Mm hmm. So according to the manual, if the AC voltage is between 100 and, what did that say again? 115 to 125, we have to set it to the high position. So we're about 120 volts here in Canada, so 120 it is. And that's on, there's no leak indicating. Right, so we have the leak switch. If that was, if that was starting to flash, we would, that would be the end of the test. Right? Okay, so if we had a leak, it would come up here, and we know that tube is no good. Yeah. All right. So according to that uh, chart, 3BC5 here, the N was on two, P was on one according to the chart. So we've hit these switches accordingly. Now right now we're not getting any sort of indicator here on the meter itself. This is what, basically a new tube, correct? Yeah, well, yeah, these are all new tubes. Okay, so, hmm, we're not getting an indicator for the actual um, uh, status of that tube itself, but uh, hey, do you wanna try one more? So what we're going to do, we're going to probably have a follow-up to this because uh, there's a little more to it than... Uh, the, there's a glitch in the, there's a glitch in the pitch. <laughs> the glitch in the, in the what? <laughs> in the pitch. You've got the pitch, I've got the glitch. <laughs> no worries. But in the meantime, how about we pull this puppy apart, just take a look on the inside, would that be a major pain? So we'll take it apart in the uh, follow-up to this one. And uh, we'll have it all cleaned up, and it'll be looking yeah, stellar, just we'll, like you, pops. We'll have the black. We'll have the black with the green board on the wall with pictures of what's going on. And as things explode, we can go X. X. <laughs> <laughs> X marks the spot. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us. You, me, and the honor model TE50 tube tester. And the old guy. And the old guy. <laughs> <laughs>